Bang! Spirit Fury. <laughs> Outplayed. Should have played better. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jamie and this is Dead by Daylight and today I'm going to be playing some Legion. This is actually a game I recorded a few days ago and I was always just playing some Dead by Daylight and I decided to record a game. I've been doing that more and more recently, I've just been playing Dead by Daylight and just recording my games without commentary. Mainly just to, you know, for fun, just to watch the games back, see what I could have done better, try and, you know, improve as killer. And I just decided that I'm also going to watch the game back and put some commentary over the top of it. Because I think, yeah, that could be fun. Just to, you know, give more of an insight into what I was doing at the time. And I can make some killer videos without, you know, having to commentate while I play. Because a lot of the time I track with my ears. And if I'm talking, I can't really do that. But yeah, I was looking for a, a survivor to start off the, start some pressure, get get a hit, get some, you know, get some people injured. And I found this Claudette. Rather than running, she decided she's going to slow vault between these windows. And obviously I catch her eventually. And I'm going off to put her to a hook. I see that person running out the corner of my eye. I do not know why I follow him. I mean, yeah. That was obviously going to happen. I mean, not obviously, but it's, you know, it's a possibility. Now that saboing only takes a few seconds, d if, you, if you've if you got somebody on your shoulder, just don't follow another player. But yeah, yeah so I, I dropped the person because I'm never going to get to another hook in time. I chased this person, lunged through the pallet because I've got Enduring. I don't have to worry about getting stunned. And I managed to actually block the pallet. Uh, so I try it again. I get a bit greedy. <laughs> I was never going to get all the way around that loop with that lunge, but never mind. Worth a shot. So now I'm just chasing this guy down. I want him. I want him dead. He did. He, he saboed my hook. He broke my property. How dare he? That's m they're my hooks. Rude. I lose him for a little bit there. I didn't realise that he'd that he slowed there. He tries to get stuns on these pallets because you know if you don't get a stun, you're basically dead there. But, you know, he's basically dead anyway because he got a stun, but I've got Enduring. And now, bang! Spirit Fury. <laughs> Outplayed. Should have played better. <laughs> I just love Spirit Fury Enduring. I know it's a bit cheap and a lot of survivors don't like it. But it just feels good not having to worry so much about pallets. Especially on a map like Hawkins, where there's like 67 pallets. None of them are very safe, but I mean, it's it's still it's still just nice to have. I also liked the the karmic retribution that I put that uh, Felix, I think it is, right back on the hook he saboted. <laughs> At least I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was that one. It, it it feels good. It feels karmic. It feels nice. So now I wasn't looking on barbecue because I'm silly. So I have to look for another survivor. I haven't found anyone yet. I have a strategy on Hawkins where I try to let them have the gens on the upstairs. Like, all, all the gens that aren't on ground level, I try not to care about. I try to ignore them completely. Because the gens that go up on this map are a nightmare. They're an actual nightmare. Okay, I'm using my power, but she's got balance landing and she gets to a pallet before I can hit her. A little annoying, but, you know, what are you going to do? I can't really complain about <laughs> perks being unfair when I'm running Enduring Spirit of Fury. <laughs> yep, this Claudette plays this very, very badly. She she would have been fine there if she still had her balance landing, but no, she doesn't, which I knew. So I didn't have to worry about anything there. I could just tease her off that ledge, and then once she fell off it, it's all good. She waits too long there, and I get her down. And this is where I, I don't learn. Watch what happens. I'm taking this Claudette to a hook. God damn it. <laughs> this guy is so good at Sabo plays. Like, he just knows which hook I'm going to. And then he goes and gets his friend up with four of the people. Before I can find him. But I do find this Meg. So you know what? Fair enough. I'll have this Meg instead. She just doesn't seem to know what she's doing at all. She just kind of runs, doesn't really pay attention to where she's running. I think she's trying to get back to the back to a pallet or something, but she kind of gets lost because the pallet she dropped is, you know, just to the left there. But anyway, she's on a hook. Am I actually going to look at barbecue this time? Yes, I am. 
I see somebody on that gen on the upper level, but like I said, I do not care. <laughs> if they can get the gens done that aren't on ground level, I don't care. All I need to do is protect the gens that are on that are on my level. I don't know what I do here. But I get very confused. I try and tease him off the ledge, uh, but yeah. <laughs> it worked in the end. I, I think I was trying to wait for him to vault, but obviously he wasn't going to. When, or like vault, drop, whatever. But obviously he wasn't going to while I was still there. But yeah. He, he's on a hook. He's fine. Oh no, he's the one that fought the people to put it out. Never mind. I always assumed it was the the uh, the Felix because I I think they I think they were a duo. I, I'm not sure if they were a, a trio with the with the David as well, but I know that at least the Claudette and the Felix were together. I think because he he always seems to be there to to get the to get the uh, Sabo play whenever I go to hook the Claudette. I really wish she'd hit me with that pallet, but she didn't. So. One thing I do regret for, from this match is that I do not use my power nearly enough. I mean, I barely use my power at all. This is just mind-blowing. Like, why don't I just go up? <laughs> this Meg is not in a safe place. I don't know why I don't just go up to it. But, you never mind. She drops another pallet early. See, I, I would assume the... When the Megs drops pallets early, she knows I have Spirit Fury. But there's no way she could know unless she saw the Felix get Spirit fury But never mind. There we go. Gotta love Spirit Fury. <laughs> love it so much. I was trying to make sure that that David went to struggle. But I assumed the Felix was waiting there. But he wasn't. He was waiting there instead. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to make sure that David went to struggle, but I didn't make, I didn't do enough of a, a good enough job of making sure. Claudette's there to block for the Felix, but she doesn't realise that the Felix just books it around this corner. <laughs> they, they had a bit of a miscommunication there. Claudette's trying to block for the Felix. The Felix isn't there anymore. Never mind. He's going on that hook. That second hook for him. He's in struggle now. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All good. I didn't see anyone on barbecue, so I'm just looking in the immediate area. I'm assuming the Claudette is nearby, but instead I find the David, who, you know, didn't really go very far, hasn't got Iron Will, and David is loud as hell. <laughs> so, right. Oh, yeah, here we go again. Wait for it. <laughs> this guy with his Samu plays. I'm like, no, drop the David. This Felix is dying. <laughs> That's happened one too many times. Actually, it's happened three too many times. He's done that to me three times. I'm literally just following his blood. I <laughs> found you. You're dead, Felix. I'm after you now. I'm guessing the Claudette was waiting nearby. There we go. Third Spirit Fury of the match. <laughs> Gotta love the amount of pallets on, on Hawkins. It really... um. Really gets you to really get Spirit Fury up. But yeah, he's dead. Yeah, I'm guessing the Claudette was near the David because the David got up super quick. So I'm guessing either the Claudette or the Meg were just waiting nearby. So the Felix is, is dead now. Thank God for that. We all we all rejoice. We all are so happy that the Sabo Felix is dead. This David, yeah. I, I, I'm not quite sure what was up with him. He tries to 360 me there. He jumps in and out of a locker. I think he's just panicking. He's a bit freaked out at this point. <laughs> I just take that little bit of a second to just stare down at him like, what are you doing? I wait in place there because I was thinking he might have been doing a DS play with the amount of times he jumped in and out of lockers, but no DS play. So he's on, he's on his second hook now. I see either the... I think it's the Meg running about in the distance. So, off I go. To hunt her down. I think she's on, she, she'll be on her second hook as well. The Claudette, I don't think I've even managed to hook yet. I see scratch marks, but I don't see a Meg. But it's alright. I found it. I'm wondering if somebody did a pebble play and I just didn't notice it. But I didn't see it on the recording then, so never mind. The Claudette's just chilling. <laughs> I don't know why she was there, but... Ah, uh, well, she maybe helped me out a bit because she made the Meg hesitate a bit. But I'm going after the Claudette now. Because I know she's going for the save. Because where else would she go? 
I get a bit confused there because there's there's no door where I wanted one. There's no hole in the wall, so I can't get through there. I'm just going to follow this clawed out. I want a hooker. I want my fourth barbecue stack. I have not managed to get this clawed out on a hook yet. She gets the save, but it doesn't matter. Because what I'm after, really, is the Claudette. <laughs> she needs to be on a hook. The hook's waiting for you, Claudette. The hook is your friend. That David just keeps running into me. He just never knows where I am. And whenever he finds out where I am, I'm right in front of his face. Claudette went to get the Meg up. And they both run up here for some reason. <laughs> the Claudette realizes it was a terrible idea and turns around. But I, I'm, I, I don't even care that the Meg's nearby. I could have slugged... Uh, the Claudette and gone after the Meg and won the game, but I wanted the I wanted the Claudette. I wanted the Claudette. I wanted the Claudette. <laughs> so the Claudette and the Hook have finally been reunited. They finally met. They they're friends. They they've been you know they've been missing each other for a while, but they finally met. They're the best of friends. All is well with the universe. <laughs> and now I'm just chasing this Meg around nothing. I don't know why I missed that. I was sure that would hit, but. Never mind, Meg goes down. All is well. <laughs> That's two slugs and one dead Claudette, I assume. The Claudette was the one I had on the hook, right? Yeah, the David slugged. So I start my mission to find the David. I figure he'll just be, you know, loud as hell on the floor making his David noises. So it doesn't take me that long to track him down, I don't think. I just have to walk about and listen for his... <laughs> there he is. <laughs> so loud. So yeah. Like all those Sabo plays just meant that the Claudette died first hook. <laughs> That's all it meant really. And thanks to me just guarding the downstairs gens. And just letting the upstairs ones go. I didn't lose any gens after that. I didn't lose any gens on the ground floor. I thought that was just very well done. I, I was very proud of that game. I didn't use my Frenzy, really, but I still got Merciless, somehow. So, <laughs> I just, I barely used my power at all. I destroyed a load of pellets. I think I used, used my power, like, once. And, you know, it didn't really come to anything because they pellets stunned me. But, you know, still, GG. Good place, good place. I, I tried to compliment the, the, the guy on his Sabo plays, but I don't get a reply. Yeah, I'm rank 8 killer now, by the way. I've been playing a lot of killer. <laughs> I got into the purple ranks recently. I'm very proud. But yeah, that was me playing Legion on Hawkins. And I, I just thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun game. I really hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you so much for watching it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay strange.